Hello my dear friends. So as you can see here I have a, a parcel. I received it yesterday and I can't wait uh, to open it up. It is uh, from a friend that uh, I have met over on Twitter. I have never seen him in reality. He lives in Israel. I've been there for three times already uh, on business trips uh, but I, I didn't know uh, at that time about him otherwise I would have already visited him and I have told him that I will visit him in the future and uh, I don't know if you already know who it could be uh, he doesn't have a YouTube channel he does uh, want to keep uh, himself like a private person and uh, his name is Ditsingoff so he's very famous over on Instagram and also Twitter he has amazing artwork on his on his uh, website, and um, for uh, some time now I'm uh, following his new project, which is called the Metalizer. Uh, I'm dental technician, so I of course know about metal plating because uh, dental technicians also use it uh, for crown and bridge work, and. Um, so I know how the technology works. He is still uh, testing his project. Uh, he has already uploaded lots of results on, on uh, his Instagram uh, account, also on his website, and you can also find lots of pictures on Twitter. And they really, really look amazing. So. Uh, I think it was last week he reached out to the community over on Twitter asking if somebody will be uh, at Murph and then I said yes I am gonna be there and uh, 3D Chameleon um, he also said that he would also be there uh, because uh, Ditzingoff he asked if somebody would be willing to bring some of his um, projects over to Murph so he could showcase them because he will personally not be there and um, I said okay I, I'm willing to take something with me but it shouldn't be so heavy so he sent me a smaller one and uh, 3D Chameleon has uh, uh, the bigger box he will display it at his desk or table yeah. and uh, so please go there and take a look at it if you are uh, at Murph. I will. I am not uh, going to have a table, but I will be all over the place. I I will take the the small object that I will unbox right away with me. You can touch it. You can you can uh, take a look at it. What it looks like, and um, yeah. So first I will unbox the box, and then I will show you some pictures over on, on his account and he told me that uh, at the moment he is uh, he has already tried copper zinc tin and um, recently he also found out that it also has also uh, made some some um, projects with different kind of alloys which are gold bronze and golden bronze so mixtures yeah uh, and are in zinc and this one seems to be very strong and rigid and the other thing that he told me is that uh, at a layer height of 0.2 you still see the layer lines and uh, with a layer uh, lower than one uh, around 1 point, uh, no, 0.1 millimeters the layer lines completely disappear and then the surface gets very shiny. Of course, you, you can you can you can treat the surface. You can weather it. So, if you, for instance, if you make a, a object coated with copper, you could weather it. So it has this antique look. And uh, yeah, it's 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 really amazing. You know what it looks like. Uh, you don't even think that there is uh, something 3D printed under there uh, underneath the the metal surface. Yeah. So let's take a look. I wish that I could have done this um, um, on, uh, you know, on a live uh, stream, but my, my internet connection is very poor, very slow. So yeah, uh, I decided to, to record it and then upload it so you can take a look at it. 
I will take some some close-up pictures later so you you can see what the surface looks like I I don't know when when his metalizer will be available I hope soon because I am going to have one for sure you know because I I'm very interested to, to create some objects um, of that kind. So he writes, Hi Katja, thank you so much for showing this 3D printed model coated with metal skin in upcoming Murph show. I packed a 3D Buddha sculpture 3D scan attached. Also, it's, uh, it's on Thingiverse. Yeah? Basically, if you print in zero yeah, it's okay, this is already, I already told you, in 0 0.1 layer height you, you get a very smooth metal skin. This Buddha was printed in 0 0.2, so there you will see, uh, you will still see the, the layer lines. And it is much bigger than I thought it would be. The, the other one, the bigger one that he sent to 3D Chameleon, uh, it seemed to be like 600 grams. So this one here is a little bit lighter, it's not that, not that heavy. And... Um, it looks really amazing. I really, I really uh, like that look. You know that uh, the, the appearance that you can still see the layer lines. I really love that. It looks quite antique. As you see here, this the use the weathering effect. Yeah, and this seems to be like a like a bronze, huh? A touch. Okay, so yeah. Oh, and he says, "Oh, pairs keep the mod." Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, so I will be carrying this around with me and um, so feel free to, to come over, uh, approach me and um, I, I will give it to you and you can, you can rub it or uh, yeah, wow, it's, it smells like metal, <laughs> this is crazy, this is really crazy, wow, I'm so happy <laughs> because I love Buddhas, you know, I, over on my shelf, I have lots of them. I am such a big fan because I have been traveling uh, to Asia a lot, and uh, so I, I love everything that is Asian and, and Buddhas and stuff like that. You know, it's really really nice. And this will be my new mascot. He will uh, bring me lots of luck. I already know. <laughs> Thank you so much. So now we will head over and take a look at all the awesome. Uh, results that he has already shared with uh, the people in the community. So yeah, hope to see you at Murph and stay tuned. Don't turn off. I will show you some results. Okay, bye bye. So here I am on Ditzingoff's uh, Twitter page, and as you can see here in the header, he has uh, he is showcasing lots of his metalizer. Uh, projects that he has already realized. If you choose media, yeah, you will see lots of those models. As you can see, the the metalizer it creates uh, a nice weathering effect if you want to. Yeah, depending on the post processing. Yeah, so you can achieve uh, some. Oh, and he hollowed it out, so you can see the, the webs here from the, from the metallizing process, the plating uh, process, and then ev afterwards you weather it. Yeah. And uh, my goodness, take a look at the space here. Doesn't that look awesome? This is really so cool. Yeah, so I hope that uh, he will be selling it uh, soon. I can't wait to give it a try myself. I really love this bowl here. Uh, so this is what it uh, looked in the beginning. And uh, then he applied the, the coating. And then, oh, where is it? Yeah, then it looks like that afterwards. So when you go to his web page, yeah, maybe you have been there already. So, if you haven't been there, just uh, give it a try. It's www.3dditzingoff.com. Yeah. And when you go to Metalizer, yeah, you see you will be led to this page here. Do consider um, signing up for the newsletter. And as soon as the Metalizer is finished, he will inform you and he will also keep you updated on the project. 
So this is here his Instagram account and this is the, the Buddha that I received. This here is the bigger one that weighs uh, over 600 grams and it will be at the booth of 3D Chameleon. Yeah, really nice. I don't know how many objects he sent him but uh, yeah, you can really get a feeling what what you can do with it. And um, yeah, there's so many objects here. Just take a look uh, by yourself. Oh, here's a lot of them. Oh my goodness, so productive. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. And uh, I would try to make jewelry. You know, I'm going to cast uh, jewelry. Uh, but this, this method would also be interesting to try. And so this is here. The, the compound that uh, is going to be used for the process and um, yeah so looking forward to see how it works and here's one of the bowls that he, he just recently posted uh, so it just seems to be quite big and uh, yeah so this is here my, my Buddha oh so nice uh, I actually, you see this is the brush where you can treat the surface a bit you know, so this is the bronze skin you know, so you polish it a little bit with this with this brush, with a metal brush and then you can create a, a shiny surface you know. and uh, yeah, so many objects here that maybe, maybe you do want to take a look by yourself